So Delve has the ability to attach to a running process. Um, so if I actually use the right uh, binary, Delve can attach to a process, but when we try to use it, we see that we uh, have an error, right? So cannot attach to PID1. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm attaching by default to PID1 because you, like the command that you run in a Docker container, that's always going to be PID1, right? So we know that that's going to be the PID that we want to attach to. But we get an error saying that uh, we can't attach to it. This could be caused by a kernel security setting. Try writing zero into you know, whatever. So the Yama ptrace scope, that's also kind of like a Linux kernel security thing, which um, limits or allows system administrators to specify like which processes or groups of processes or whatever um, are able to use ptrace and to what extent. So if we were to actually try to write to write zero uh, to that file, we'll get, you know, a, an error about it being like a read only file system or something like that. So we won't really find too much joy there. So let's get out of here. So with that, uh, with that in mind, we we've kind of hit a little bit of a roadblock, right? So when we were when I was talking earlier, I was talking about different Linux system capabilities and stuff like that. And the one that I mentioned was Capsys Ptrace. So by default, that capability is not going to be there within the container. So if you try to run a debugger or anything like that within those namespaces, um, within that process tree, you're not really going to find any joy like uh it's it's just going to be blocked as as you could see so a way to kind of alleviate that is to um use docker or whatever your container runtime is to add these capabilities to the container processes uh process tree uh so that when we start our debugger we'll actually be able to 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 use it um and this this approach you you could also run the the container with like the privilege flag but that's kind of like a more like nuclear option, I think. Selectively adding capabilities like this still gives you fine grained control without allowing the, the container to have like all of the power in the world basically. Um, so let's stop the um, container that we uh, started up and then let's, let's rerun it. So uh, let's do, Docker run. So we'll go back to the command that we used before, but this time we're going to add a new flag. So this is going to be um, cap add. And then we're going to say, I want to add in the sys uh, ptrace capability. So just like before we run our container, um, we, uh, we copy the debugger uh, into it. We exec into it, and now when we try to uh, attach, it works. We actually get a working uh, Delve prompt. We can see uh, that there's some stuff happening, right? There's some threads running, um, some Go routines, uh, and you can see kind of everything is just parked right now. Um, this is uh, this is the the little server that's running within it. It's, it's just a little example HTTP uh, server, essentially. Mm -hmm.